Hello and welcome to the 340 Club. In this video, we'll be solving this question. What is the unit digit of 17 to the power 18 to the power 19 to the power 20? And so I'm going on, right? So we want to find the unit digit of this number when it's written, when it's expanded and written in decimal form, right? Not as an exponent. So let's begin. So the question is asking us to find the unit digit of 17 to the power 18 to the power 19 to the power 20 to the power 21 to the power 22 and so on. All right, so the first thing we'll try to do is notice, check if there's a pattern in the powers of 17. So before we do that, let's check the powers of 7. So 7 to the power 1 is obviously 7. 7 squared is 49. 7 cubed is 343. 7 to the power 4 is 2401. 7 to the power 5 is 16807. 7 to the power 6 is 117649. 7 to the power 7 is 823543. And 7 to the power 8 is 5764801. Now there is a pattern with the last digits or the unit digits. So we have a 7, a 9, a 3, a 1, 7, 9, 3, and 1. We can clearly tell that the, the same four numbers repeat in the units uh, place, right? So 79317931, That pattern keeps repeating for the units place. So the unit digits of seven is powers of seven is always going to end in that pattern 7931, right? And this applies to every number that ends in the seven as well. Because the units place will determine the unit digits of their power. So once the number ends in 7, it will follow that same pattern. Let's check 17. You can notice the same 7, 9, 3, 1 pattern, right? 17 to the power 1 is 17, obviously. 17 squared is 289, ends in a 9. 17 cubed is 4913, ends in a 3. 17 to the power 4 is 835, 83521, ends in a 1. And this same pattern appears for all numbers that end with a 7. It appears for 27 as well. So we know that no matter what the power is, 17 is going to have that same pattern, right? And we know whenever the power is 4, we can look at the when the power is 4, right? So 7 to the power 4 is 2401, ends in the 1. 7 to the power 8 is 5764801, ends in the 1. 17 to the power 4 is 83521, ends in the 1. 37 to the power 4 is 531441, ends in the 1. That means whenever the power is 4 or a multiple of 4, the expansion will end in a 1. So we can take this to the question, right? So 17 to the power 18 to the power 9 to the power 20 and onwards, right? If we can determine that that power that 17 has been raised to is a multiple of 4, then we can determine that it ends in a 1. And if we can tell if it's not a multiple of 4, we can tell uh, which, where it is in relation to the nearest multiple of 4. Then with that, we can tell what the last digits will be or the unit digits will be. So let's check if 18 to the power 19 to the power 20 to the power 21 is a multiple of 4. Right? So let's check the powers of 18. 18 is 2 times 9. That's obvious. 18 squared. That's 18 times 18. So 2 times 9 times 2 times 9. That's 4 times 81. So 18 squared is a multiple of 4. 18 cubed is 18 squared times 18. So that's 4 times 81, which is that 18 squared times 18. That means 18 cubed is also a multiple of 4. And this will continue, right? 18 to the power of 4 be a multiple of 4. So all powers of 18 except the first power is going, are going to be multiples of 4. That is integer powers of 18 are going to be multiples of 4. That means 18 to the power 19 to the power 20 to the power 21 is equal to 4 times an integer. That is, it's a multiple of 4, right? So we can now be confident that the power of 17 in this question is a multiple of 4. And if it's a multiple of 4, then it means, from our expression that we did earlier, it means it's going to end in a 1, right? So once 17 is a multiple of 4, the unit digit is going to be a 1. So we can conclude that the unit digits of 17 to the power 18 to the power 19 to the power 20 onwards, right, is 1. Because 18 to the power 19 to the power 20 is a multiple of 4. 
And when the number nine is in seven is raised to integer, it's a more slow for the unit digit is one. So that's how to solve a question like this. Um, if you enjoy this video, like this video. If you learn something new, learn, like this video. Leave a comment if you have a different solution or a suggestion. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. Thanks for watching. Bye.